Today I'm going to talk about starting the angel patterns that I've designed. All of the angel patterns except the Russian pattern, angel pat, are started at the same point in a very similar manner. Today I'm going to show you starting this pattern, which is the angel body for Angel Anita. And we're going to start at the left hand corner and put the pattern on your pillow in this manner. I've prepared the pattern and we're going to start by putting three false picots at this point. So we put the three pins in and start with the first false picot, hang in a pair of bobbins over the pin, rainbow fashion or a stride, open formation and put five twists on one of the pairs, it doesn't matter which one, and then do a cloth stitch. That's a false pico. And then repeat for the other two pins. Five twists and a cloth stitch. That's a false pico. Okay, so we've now got six pairs on here, and starting in the middle, I'm going to take the three right hand pairs through the three left hand pairs. So we're just going to start, and this is going to give you the passives for the edge. So that's the first one come through. Count back three, take the next one. And tension it up as you go. The bobbins do move about a little bit at this stage, but don't worry about it too much. Having tensioned those up nicely, we're now going to put another false picot on the bottom edge, which is the shaped scalloped edge. This is going to provide your workers for this bottom edge and to feed into the heart shape inside the gimp. So do the false picot, work the first pair through the three pairs that you've currently got as passives for the bottom edge. At this point you're going to put a pin in this first one of the back edge trail and the one to the right of it and the one that's just come through cloth stitch together and then put one twist on both. The right hand one you've now got will become the worker for that trail. The left hand one is going to drop into the heart for the first pinhole inside the gimp. So they're now finished with for the time being. Although we can work this one out and just do a couple of pins to secure it if you want. I've just put one pin in there just so that I know that the worker is now on the outside edge and it's quite safe. This one's coming in, so that was going to stay there for a moment. The second one of the false pico that you've just put in is going to come in through the passives. You've got three at the moment. And again, that will form the top pin on the heart. So I tend to put the twists on ready for it to go inside the gimp so that I know that that thread isn't anything else. We now come back over to this bottom edge trail and we're going to take the inside pair out to the bottom edge with the pico edge and do a normal pico. And then take it back in through the two passives and this will then drop into the heart for the second pinhole. You can put your two twists on so you know it's going to go in through the gimp. 
Now you need to add single pairs into the head side to form the pico and also to feed this. So we hang a single pair between the two passives and then take the passive that's already there through this to the edge to work the pico. And once you've got the pico there you have to drop that one down to be able to pull it up. And this means the, the one that you've just added is now on the inside as a passive. By adding them between those two passives you cannot see the, the pair that's been added so easily. Now that we've got three pairs here we can get the gimp in and start the heart. Although we can only do one or two pins. Hang it on a temporary support pin. You should have two twists before and after the gimp. Lift the left hand bobbin of the two threads, pass it through, put it down and put two twists on. Lift the left, through, down and two twists. And just cloth stitch the first one together. At this point you decide which way you're going to be working. As I said this one's the first pin so I will work across to here. So the left hand one is the twister one and becomes your worker. You can take the temporary support pin out and that holds the gimp in place. Now because we've got all of these pairs feeding in you now have to work down this edge backwards and forwards putting pairs in to drop through for the cloth stitch and for the point ground. And then when you get to here you have another trail and you drop two pairs in at the first pin and two at the second one. And you continue to work it in that manner. I hope that's helped with starting at the point. You work it and as you move round you swing your pillow round to turn it at the turning points and you finish at the back edge. So we're working down here like this and each time we get to the heart the cover cloth should be across the middle of each heart so that is your angle of work each time. When you get towards the end you will be taking all of the pairs of the ground into this edge trail. You'll come round and finish here and then finish that trail by turning the pillow and working it down to the neck side, a neck edge. And finishing at this point enables you to have the ends all thrown out and you've only got a very few pairs to actually finish off with. One of these ends will then do the sewing to join the back seam. I hope that's helped you get started on this angel. As I say, all of the angels start in the same manner at the same point work round and finish at the neck edge apart from Angel Pat which is a Russian lace and so takes very few pairs. I hope you enjoy working the angels. The heads are available through by mail order from me and I have those made specially for me by a local artist. If you've enjoyed the video please leave a comment, like it and subscribe to see more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.